Also joining me for this glamping experience will be my brother, Caleb. Tonight, I will be sleeping in my tent. As well as being joined by my brother, we are lucky enough to be joined by my dad. I will be staying in my one tigress backwards bungalow tent. Move it. And don't forget about Izzy. Alright guys, so audio is probably not going to be the best on this one, as again, it's uh, windy as usual here. But uh, Cameron's got some pretty big plans for the treehouse here, and for this episode 3, he wanted to work on the day use fire pit area that's kind of underneath there, so basically what I've done I've come out here to the brush piles that the slasher had left when they logged here. Now the idea here is because he's got some pretty cool plans. Plans that include a four-sided enclosure underneath the treehouse. And uh, he's got an entranceway there. You can see he's been working on it already so he's got a little bit of it done. Uh, my role or part in this to begin with is I am going to be gathering material out of this brush pile because he wants to have three benches in there one on the back wall and one down each side and in the middle he's going to put a fire pit there so my job is going to be to gather that stuff and get some benches made up we're going to make something very similar to the bench that I made over at my wild camping location you can check out those videos here if you want. And uh, yeah, that's, that's what I'll be working on to kick this off. As you guys can see here, we got a decent amount of sticks, logs, whatever. Most of them are six feet, and that's what we're going to be using to build that wall from that tree to that tree.
Đấy, cái cuối xong We be just booting on our tree house here
Today we finished the walls in the very bottom day use area of the tree house. Or I should not say we finished, we more so worked on them a lot. We got all four of them done as you can see. We just have to push moss into the cracks and cut them down to the size we desire them because right now they are very long. It took a long time. It took all day in fact, but we got it finished. These two walls, we are going to cut roughly about six feet high. These two walls will be roughly four feet high. Though today went by fast, it was filled with many trials and also many errors, like making the ridge pull on the wall to my right. It was very skinny and it broke and the whole wall came down when we had it finished. That was not fun. That very much sucked. Remember what happened in episode one? We have to stop using dead poplar <laughs> for beams that are gonna be supporting weight. Love is a burning flame, and it makes a fiery ring. Bound by wild desire, I fell into a ring of fire. I fell into a burning ring of fire. I went down, 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 and the flames went higher. And it burns, burns, burns. There's a ring of fire. Ring of fire. Found. I forget what comes next. <laughs> That's the end of it. It's sort of like on and off with the second part. Oh, yeah, the taste. Of love is sweet. When like I was meat. I fell for you like, like a child. child. Oh, but the fire went wild. I fell down into a burning ring of fire. I went down, 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 and the flames went higher. Alright, that's enough. This is embarrassing.
How was your sleep? Good. How about yours? Good.
thank you guys for watching and if you would like to please comment like and subscribe again a big thank you to our donators Richard and Irene Tate if you would like to donate there is a link in the description and again thank you guys for watching the video